This is the video for section 1.1. In this section we're going to talk about angles, so we'll start with some basic terminology. First we've got the line AB, which is the line that goes through points A and B. And to write a symbol for this we'd write AB with a line over the top. And this is a line because it's got arrows on both ends, both in the picture and with the symbol. The next one is a line segment. This is only a segment because it stops at point A and it stops at point B. The symbol for this would be AB with just a line over it with no arrows. And finally we've got a ray. Array is half of a line. So this one actually starts at point A and after point B it continues on. So it's got a point on one end where it stops and on the other end it's got an arrow. And that's how we draw the symbol for that one. Now if we put all this together we get an angle. An angle is made up of two rays. The point where the two rays intersect is called the vertex of the angle. Where the angle starts is called the initial side. So the ray where it starts is the initial side of the angle. And you can tell in this picture that this is the initial side because of this arrow which is showing it going this direction. The ray where it ends is called the terminal side. When we talk about angles in this class, we talk about angles with different kinds of measures. So an angle can have a positive measure or a negative measure. The way we define this is that if our rotation is going counterclockwise, so let's say this is the initial side of our angle and our rotation is going this direction, so it's going counterclockwise, then this would have a positive measure. On the other hand, if this is the initial side and the rotation is going clockwise, so if we were going this direction and this was our angle, then this angle would have a negative measure. Now let's talk about degree measure. So first of all in degrees if we go one complete rotation, so if we start at the initial side and go all the way around and the terminal side meets up back with our initial side, then that is an angle of 360 degrees. We've got some other different types of angles that we can talk about. The first one is an acute angle. This is an angle that measures between 0 and 90 degrees. A right angle is one that measures exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is one that's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees and a straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. Now we can also talk about what angles do together. If we have complementary angles that means that their measures add up to 90 degrees. Whereas if we have supplementary angles their measures add up to 180 degrees. So let's look at finding the complement and the supplement of an angle. So we have an angle that measures 55 degrees and we want to find the measure of both its complement and its supplement. We 
let's draw a picture to go with this. So if our angle is measuring 55 degrees, if we want to find the complement, we want the two angles to add up to 90 degrees. So we want to have a right angle here. So here's our 55 degree angle. The complementary angle would be the one that would complete this 90 degree angle. So another way we could think about this, if we say that this is angle A, if we take angle A and add our 55 degree angle, we want those two to add up to 90 degrees. So really all we need to do to find the measure of A is subtract our 55 degrees from 90 degrees. And that would give us 35 degrees. We can do the same thing for the supplement, only with this one, we want the two angles to add up to 180 degrees, so that would give us a straight angle instead of a right angle. So this angle is 180 degrees. If we draw in our 55 degree angle, then let's call this other angle B. And we want these two to add up to 180. Just like in the last one, we can write a little equation and we're just solving it for B by subtracting the 55 degrees from each side. That gives us 125 degrees. Let's look at another example. In these examples, we're supposed to find the measure of each marked angle. So we want to find the measure of the 2x degrees angle and the 3x degrees angle in this picture. Now from the picture we can see that these two are complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. That means if we take the 2x degrees and add it to the 3x degrees, we should get 90 degrees. Now this gives us just a little equation we can solve. We're going to forget about the degrees for a minute. We're just adding like terms. So that's 5x equals 90. And then we're solving for x, which means we're dividing both sides by 5. That's going to give us 18 degrees. Now this is just the answer for x. What we wanted to find was the measures of these two marked angles. So for the 2x degrees, that would be 2 times 18, which would be 36 degrees. For the 3x, that would be 3 times 18, which would be 54 degrees. And if we've done this correctly, these two should add up to 90. Now we can do the same thing over here, only this time these two together make up a straight angle, so they're supplementary. and we want them to add up to 180 degrees. So we're combining our like terms to get 9x, then we're dividing both sides by 9, which gives us x equals 20 degrees. And again, we want to find the actual measures of the angles. So here for the 7x, that would be 7 times 20 degrees, which would be 140 degrees. For the 2x, that would be 2 times 20 degrees, which would be 40 degrees.